Hi guys, welcome to another segment of Makan Di Mana. You're here with me, Kimberly, and we are at Cafe Amsha. Now today we're going to find out how this place is Insta worthy. So let's just follow me. Okay, restoran ni dibuka pada September 2016. Okay, uh, 2016 yang di situ dah bermulanya Cafe Emsa. Okay, di mana cafe ni konsep dia adalah uh, butik French. Konsep ni pada mulanya dalam apa yang uh, owner saya bercerita tentang uh, konsep ni, sejarah konsep ni, dia mencari idea di luar negara. Dan dia bawa benda ni ke Malaysia. Okey, dengan cara percubaan ni dia berjaya. Konsep ni diterima ramai. Yang mana dia adalah uh, konsep yang evergreen. Orang panggil evergreen. Yang dia kekal lama. So, sampai baby ni pun orang boleh terima konsep macam ni. Dan ia berjaya. Okay, yang saya tengok konsep ni dia pun more to French, more to Italian. So jadi ia kenalah dengan jiwa saya. Jadi bila saya cuba kombinkan makanan yang apa yang saya ada dan saya kombinkan dengan konsep dan saya cuba rekakan satu benda yang lain benda lain daripada restoran lain. Supaya mereka datang di sini dia orang dapat nikmat wow. This restaurant ada kelainan foodnya. Kerana kalau dia nak dapat food yang baik dia kena pergi tempat yang sangat mahal. So jadi di sini kami cuba tampilkan uh, makanan yang tidak terlalu mahal. Supaya everybody semua orang dapat merasai duduk di restoran yang mewah ini dengan harga yang berpatutan. Ya, yeah, of course saya sebagai orang Melayu yang yang menganut agama Islam Lepas saya di tukar masak, saya akan mencari bahan-bahan uh, yang halal. Dia, even daripada supplier kami pun adalah dari halal punya bahagian. So, kalau yang mana halal saja saya akan masuk di dalam sini. Yang tidak halal, saya tak akan accept lah. Uh, itu dah sebab apa, setiap uh, food testing ataupun setiap standard resepi yang kami, saya buat, saya pastikan bahan-bahannya adalah daripada bahan-bahan yang halal. Okay, kerana kami akan mengambil uh, halal punya sertifikat dalam progress lah dalam sekarang so jadi the whole restaurant ni akan dapat sertifikat jakin halal Saya uh, didedahkan dengan pengalaman daripada Italian, French and American. So jadi saya cuba kombinkan ketiga-tiga cuisine ni dalam satu pinggan. Dan daripada situ saya dapat kelainan dekat situ. Kerana idea yang saya curahkan dekat ni uh, untuk untuk menepati konsep di sini. Uh, saya tak buat seperti macam uh, di luar benda-benda uh, yang biasa ada di luar. Saya cuba buat satu kelainan di sini supaya everybody boleh rasa kelainan tu dan dia dapat menikmati duduk di tempat palace di sinilah ha, begitulah Wellington iaitu makanan klasik atau makanan tradisional di bahagian Eropah, Europe, Europe side. Okey, saya lampirkan di tempat ni sebab dia sangat-sangat lama, makanan yang sangat lama 
yang dah lama tak dikeluarkan uh, di Malaysia. Okay, so jadi saya keluarkan uh, makanan yang sangat-sangat klasik, sangat-sangat tradisional di bahagian Eropah. Okay, this is uh, ini adalah ikan salmon, fresh dari Norway. Kita ambil dari fresh, kita tak ambil frozennya. Kita ambil freshnya dari uh, dengan butter rice, dengan uh, veggie, vegetable butter. Right, dia punya sos kita buat daripada uh, chicken stock dengan cream iaitu more to French cuisine. Ini adalah marinara bay, sangat popular, uh, top sale dekat sini. Iaitu tomato sauce, saya buat sendiri daripada fresh tomato. Okay, and then um, campuran dia dengan fresh uh, basil dan fresh seafood. Di sini ada prawn, ada masa dan ada sotong. Lamb risotto adalah antara yang uh, paling top dekat sini. Okay, sebab saya lampirkan um, di bawah ni adalah mushroom risotto. Okay, more to Italian. And then the uh, kambing, uh, bahagian shoulder. Saya pan fry, then saya letak dengan uh, black pepper sauce di atas dia. Okay. Alright, this is more Italian. Ini adalah chicken breast bersama dengan uh, mushroom chicken juice. Okey, uh, dia punya sos buat uh, daripada homemade. Okey, homemade sos dengan uh, chicken breast, butter rice and vegetable. All right, first dish on the menu. We have chicken breast, butter rice and a bit of mushroom gravy. So, let's just take a quick bite to see how it tastes like. Okay, so it's a bit hard. Let's see how it tastes like. This is quite big, chunky. Specialist. It is very meaty, a bit tender, and the mushroom just tastes nice. I mean, the mushroom sauce tastes nice. So that's the chicken. Let's take a look at the rice. And mind you, don't ever eat with a knife. Mm. Right. As for the butter rice, there's a bit of you can taste the butter, and it's not that strong of a taste. It just melts nicely in your mouth, and it has a bit of garnish, like herb kind of flavor. So, if you like this, I mean. It's nice, it's good. Try it. Alright, next up, we have Marinara Bay. And as you can see, there's prawns, there's mussel, and let's just dig into this. Move this away. Yeah. This is really a big prawn. Okay, as you can see, they've also cut it, so there's no unwanted stuff. Okay. Ooh, I found something. There is also, this is what we call in Malay, sotong. How do I even describe this? It tastes a bit sour. It has this that, that, that nice tomato flavor, that nice tomato sauce. And you can actually taste a bit of prawn-ish kind of texture. So it's really nice, really gentle. And this might be my recommendation of you to have. They even have some squid in it. 
some octopus and really this is really seafood base all right so this is our four dishes and this is called lamb shoulder risotto now we have the lamb here that is covered with black pepper rosemary as you can see and then the rice italian rice just underneath surrounded by a wild creamy mushroom sauce so let's take a bite now where do i start okay. let's try the rice first it has a sticky kind of texture oh this is very rich oh wait this is very rich in black pepper sauce and oh it just wakes you up let's try the lamb Tender, juicy with black pepper. But if you're not a fan of black pepper, you can opt for something. But this is really rich in black pepper, so the spice is just nice. It doesn't have that very um, thick black pepper kind of taste. So to me, I find it is just nice. Just nice. What do we have here? Okay, so if you're a fan of salmon, maybe you should try this. This is a spiced honey salmon fillet. And they have what they have here. If you can see, this is hot cheese sauce. Still, we have the butter rice and a bit of gravy on topping. Alright, so let's just have a quick bite into this salmon here. Yeah? Ooh, it's very soft, very tender. I love that cheesy. Mm. Okay, trust me, you can definitely taste the sea, the ocean. I tell you, this is one of the must have dishes if you're coming here. All right. Now, if you can see, it is nicely cooked, red-ish, and it's still soft, very soft. So here you go. Whew, that was a lot of dishes. Now, coming to the last dish, we have beef wellington. And we have this little cup here filled with black bean sauce. And I'm supposed to pour it around it. So, let's just try and see. Ooh. Again. Oh, okay, I need to turn this around. So you can see here, it's beef. Nice layer of beef. Okay. Now let's try that. Mm. Okay, the sauce actually makes it sweet. How nice. Okay. The beef is medium raw. Alright, so if you're a beef lover, you might want to eat this. This is tenderly cooked, medium raw. And yeah, why not? Go ahead. answer and I've tried like five different dishes but I can tell you what the ones that I like the most is marinara bay and the lamb shoulder risotto for its black pepper sauce now this place is not that far off if you want to come here it's just right at Bukit Jalil Jalan Jalil 2 not that hard to find but you might just have to find parking yeah so I'll see you next week on Makan Dimana bye